drug artist Pura Luca Vega has conveyed his feelings about being labeled persona non grata in various locations throughout the Philippines. This reaction stems from his controversial rendition of the Amanamin song on July 10, 2023. The most recent declaration of persona non grata has occurred in Manila following the approval of a resolution by the Manila City Council on Tuesday, August 8, 2023. According to Manila District 5 Councilor J.B. Hizon, the principle of freedom of speech should not be misused to demean or offend religious convictions. Other members of the Council underscored the significance of the Black Nazarene in Manila, particularly during the annual Traslacion event. They were unable to ignore what they perceived as Pura's disrespectful portrayal of Jesus Christ. Before Manila's official resolution, four other cities and municipalities had already issued persona non grata declarations against Pura in their respective jurisdictions. These locations include the cities of Bukidnon and General Santos in South Cotabato, as well as the municipalities of Florida Blanca in Pampanga and Toboso in Negros Occidental. On Thursday, August 10, 2023, Pura responded to the consecutive persona non grata declarations through his ex, formerly Twitter account. The provocative drug performer expressed his willingness to engage in dialogue to clarify the situation, lamenting the lack of an opportunity to do so. Pura's statement read, Tell me exactly what I did wrong. I'm open for a dialogue, and yet cities have been declaring persona non grata without even knowing me or understanding the intent of the performance. He further emphasized, Drug is art. You judge me, yet you don't even know me. Remaining steadfast, Pura asserted that his performance, where he donned a metallic gold and maroon dress with a matching headdress while performing the Roman Catholic song Amanamin or the Lord's Prayer, was a manifestation of art. Meanwhile, beyond the persona non grata designation, Pura is facing a series of legal charges. Specific leaders from Christian groups have accused him of violating Article 201 of the Revised Penal Code. Let us all remember that respecting others' religions and beliefs contributes to a more inclusive and harmonious society where individuals can coexist despite their differences. Tupura, discover the beauty of humility and let tranquility fill your soul. Spread the love from your Chikahan and family.